Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. Hope you're doing well today. Before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe. Check the description for links to my social media. That's my TikTok and my Instagram, both at electric.flamingo. And I'll also leave a timestamp in there if you just wanna to jump to the sound demo towards the end of the video. With all that being said, let's go ahead and talk about this Epiphone Les Paul Traditional Pro 2 and Desert Burst. So the Traditional Pro line by Epiphone. I'm aware that Gibson has them, but the traditional pro Epiphones are sorely, sorely underrated in my opinion. I don't see a lot of these. I don't see a lot of reviews on them. And to me that says people get them and they keep them, right? But when I do see them used, I typically see them used if they're in good condition for more than what they went for new used, right? So that, that alone speaks volumes to me, but anyway, so we're going to jump into the review of this one. This one's in Desert Burst, as I mentioned earlier. And it was made in 2018. And let's go ahead and jump into more of the review and the specs, and then I'll give you a sound demo after the fact. So starting at the headstock, working our way down like I normally like to do. It's the old Epiphone headstock shape. I've made it clear numerous times that I like the Epiphone headstock shape, regardless of whether it's the new one or the old one. I don't want a war, but there it is. You can see I put a custom truss rod cover on it. Uh, it says Roxana. You can kind of go check out the backstory on it on my TikTok. I do have a video on this. So you look at the back of the neck, it's got Grover tuners, hold tuned very, very well. You can see the back of the headstock is kind of that satiny feel. Same goes for the back of the neck and the back of the body. Continuing on down, it's a plastic nut. I've never had any problems with tuning stability or anything. Put a little bit of graphite in there, ready to go. Going to the neck, it's a bound neck on the sides there. You can see the binding. I believe it's an Indian laurel fretboard. I'm not entirely sure what the wood is, if I'm being honest. This piece is actually a really good color. It suits the body color of this one specifically, I think. So mahogany neck, it's the 50s kind of style, really chunky neck. So if you're into that, trapezoid inlays, medium jumbo frets, there's 22 of them. And it's the 24 and three quarter inch scale length per every other Gibson on the planet. And there's one really unique thing about this fretboard on this particular guitar that I really like. I think it makes it a really unique piece. If you look at it, you can see that dark stripe going down all the way to the end. I actually got this thing brand new. And when I opened the box, I thought the fretboard was cracked, but man, that to me, that is just such a unique feature on this thing. Just something I feel I should have pointed out. I mean, again, it's not going to be exclusive to all the other ones, but Hey, going to the body, it's a mahogany body. So it's heavy. Very, very nice. There's no weight relief on this thing. Traditional, right? It's that beautiful desert burst finish. I believe this was a limited finish for this line. I'm not sure. But if it's not, I really like this color. It's probably my favorite in this whole line. Three-way switch, not replacing any of the electronics. I believe that they are the Pro Buckers, the Epiphone Pro Buckers here. So there's that. Bridge and tail piece, they work fine. I got my pit guard on there because I love the pit guards on my Les Paul. Sue me if you don't like it. And the only thing I've done cosmetically aside from the truss rod cover, is I changed these knobs. It fell off a stand, it broke a knob, it actually cracked the finish there. I don't even see that, it looks like right there. Um, it broke that knob, broke that tone knob, and I figured, well, why not just replace all of them? They used to be kind of like this color here, like right along the edge, like a darker color. But I like this, they're kind of like a gold, and they're also the, the, the tall top hats. So I like those. So all in all, it sounds like it's a pretty traditional Les Paul, right? Hence why it's called a traditional pro. But what does pro mean? Well, when you get an Epiphone that has pro in it, right? You have a few extra appointments. Something that's become pretty standard on a lot of guitars are coil splits or coil taps, which this one has two of obviously, which if you don't know what that is, if you pull up your volume knobs, your volume pots, whatever you want to call them, um, they will split the humbuckers and make them sound more like single coils, right? But there's also one extra little hidden feature on this thing that's really, really unique. If you look on the back here, you'll see there's actually a battery cover here for a nine volt battery. Why does this need a nine volt battery? Well, if you come over here to this pot, this tone pot, and you pull it up, it's actually a boost. And depending on which website you go and look at, like if you go to the Epiphone website or whatever, It'll tell you different information. One place will say 10 dBs. The other one will say 15 dBs. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's 15 because it's pretty dramatic. If you need a solo to cut through or you just wanna be louder than everybody in the room, 
pull that out and you're guaranteed to be. Now it's not unusable. It is a lot. So use it sparingly, but it's not unusable at all. It's a very, very cool feature to have on this guitar. And that pretty much does it. Other than those little appointments, I mean, it is a Les Paul all day. It's heavy, it's got the thick neck, two volume, two tone, two rock and humbuckers, everything. It's all there. This is probably my favorite Les Paul in my entire collection. Um, I'll never get rid of this thing. It's awesome. If you can find one, I highly, highly urge you to pick one up. They sound and play fantastic. But I can sit and tell you that this thing sounds fantastic all day long, and you won't believe me without hearing a little bit of uh, proof. So let me go ahead and uh, plug in, get you a little demo track going, and you can be the judge of how it sounds for yourself. So what I tell you, it sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, please make sure you subscribe and you can check the description for those other links to my social media. I can't really leave you links to go buy one of these things. Um, again, this is an older model. It's the tr traditional Pro 2. Um, I may even leave some links to go look at the traditional Pro 4s, but you know, who knows? Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.